Well, it is Memorial Day weekend. Yes. And while everything is not completely back to normal, no. everything is still kind of socially distancing. And we wanted to do something a little special for Memorial Day. Um, yeah. And even though things aren't back to complete normal, we hope that you are able to get together with friends or family and at least enjoy your weekend. But also keep in mind what the day actually means and what we're actually yeah. recognizing. Uh, we are recognizing the sacrifice that our men and women in the military service sacrificed their, their lives so that we could be free and live the lifestyles that we live. For us, it's the RV lifestyle. We hope that whatever lifestyle that you are living, you get to enjoy it because of the sacrifice that these people made. We're standing in front of the Ranger Monument on Fort Benning, which is one of the most impressive monuments yeah. and memorials on Fort Benning. So we wanted to open our video here and talk about well, they, all the cool things they do on Fort Benning, first of all. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff. Rangers. Yeah. Airborne. Airborne. <laughs> um, they have sniper school Stewart. here. Yeah. It's the home of the infantry. So all infantrymen are trained Senior. here for yeah. basic training and for their individual training. Um, the, the armor school is now here. Mm -hmm. And there's just a ton on Fort Benning. So there's some bad mamma jammas <laughs> come that, out have, of here. that have come out of Fort Benning <laughs> and that have been through Fort Benning. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of those men and women have sacrificed... Uh, their lives so that we could be free so we want to pay tribute to them so come along with us across Fort Benning and we will visit all of the places on Fort Benning that pay tribute to the fallen Now we're at the Airborne Battle Memorial, and so this is a little memorial right here in front of the Airborne School. You can see the jump towers in the back back there where they yep. do training here on Fort Benning, the Airborne School. And so this memorial, it talks about all the campaigns that paratroopers have jumped in, and how many paratroopers jumped, and it's just like a memorial. for It's like a historical thing for the, for the people who are in jump school too, to learn a little bit about the history of paratroopers when they go to school. There's some great aircrafts out here that are on display. Yeah. One from the Ohio Air Guard. Yeah. Yeah, because Leslie has a bunch of family from Ohio. So we'll take you around the uh, Airborne Battle Memorial. Well, this is pretty cool as we're going around the circle of the battle monument for airborne yeah uh they have a little a little like a pedestal a monument for each campaign mm -hmm. and so this one is the one that your uncle jumped in yeah my great uncle and yeah so um your mother's uncle yeah yeah and the one we talked about in our live stream a couple weeks ago and the one who was killed in world war ii he jumped and uh the rest of his group was killed at the massacre of Jemevez. Mm -hmm. And um, so this was the jump. He was in the 50, 507th parachute. 82nd. Yeah, 82nd Airborne. Yeah. And um, yeah, he was killed in action on... Which I like that they show exactly on all these how yeah. many jumpers there were. Yeah, and, it, and out of those... A lot. Yeah, over 17,000 jumped yeah. on those two days into Normandy. And um, your uncle was killed on... June 7th, yeah, 1944. So this is really cool to see a piece of your family history yeah. being uh I had no recognized. idea it was here. We lived yeah. here for so long. Lived here seven years, never came here, never seen it. It's crazy. But um, it's just really cool to be attached to real history. Yeah. Well, now we're at Sacrifice Field on Fort Benning and this is a place where specific units who were either based out of Fort Benning or did some training at Fort Benning mm -hmm. are recognized. So they have a bunch of different monuments out on the field. Yeah. 
recognizing all the different units and so come along with us on Sacrifice Field to pay tribute to those who are remembered here. We don't often think about it, but it's not always humans that are killed in action or sacrifice everything no. for a service. A lot of times it's, uh, it's the animals. So we have a bunch of different kinds of service animals. There's service animals that like find casualties. And there's like the bomb sniffing dogs. And then, you know, like the MP dogs that they use, you know, for, um, for different operations in combat. and. A lot of times those canines are killed in action too. Yeah. So here at Sacrifice Field they have a monument specifically dedicated to the canines and the canine handlers who were killed in action. And, it's uh, very cool. It is. And it's, this is one of the nicest yeah. monuments out here. So it's really it's a really nice tribute to the fallen canines, the canine handlers. Well, we are going to head out to the National Infantry Museum, which is also on Fort Benning and has some really cool stuff mm -hmm. that pays tribute to, to the fallen. They have the, the Memorial Vietnam Wall, wall. Yeah. and then they have the OIF, OEF walls of the mm -hmm. fallen, the big statues of the soldiers. It's closed, yeah. obviously, because of the, the situation the and the quarantine, um, but you can't even get to it. That stuff's outside, so I figured we could walk through there, yeah. but, but they're doing road work through there. Uh, so they closed both ends of the road. You can't even get can't through there. Through. We did do a whole video on the National Infantry Museum before. Before we so left. So yeah. we'll put a link up here somewhere to where you can go back and watch that whole video. For now, uh, I'll go back to some of that video and I'll pull some of that B-roll and I'll show that right now. And then we'll head off to the cemetery oh, at right. Fort Benning. Uh, now we are at the Fort Benning Cemetery, and uh, this is where Fort Benning does their their Memorial Day events, and then they do their Wreaths Across America around Christmas time, which we've been here a couple of times. They've only been doing it here a couple of years. Yeah, it's fairly recent. just started. It's a pretty small cemetery. It's on the military installation, and uh, a little bit of, of history. Out, well, there's a ton of history out here yeah. if you count all the soldiers. But if uh, the most famous ones that you've probably heard of is if you've seen the movie We Were Soldiers. Um, Colonel Hal Moore, who was played by Mel Gibson, is buried out here. And Sergeant Major Plumley, who was played by Sam Elliott in the movie We Were Soldiers, is also buried out here. So we're going to walk around a little bit and kind of uh, pay some respects to all those who are out here. Uh, we will show you the graves of Hal Moore and Sergeant Major Plumley, and then we're going to lay a wreath somewhere, and then we'll uh, talk in after we show you that stuff. Yeah.
Well, that's it for our tribute to Memorial Day and lots of cool stuff on Fort Benning. Fort Benning does a really good job yeah. of honoring the, the fallen in a bunch of different locations, a bunch of different ways. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a nice little cemetery out here. Yeah, it's, I'd say from posts we've been to, it is the smallest yeah, by cemetery far. on post. And it looks pretty full. I mean, it's well maintained, but it, it, it's small in comparison to most posts. Yeah. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed our memorial tribute. We hope that you enjoy your memorial weekend and have fun in whatever you're doing. But just keep in mind the reason for the holiday. And please take a moment to remember the fallen. We normally, at the end of all of our videos, honor a fallen hero, mm -hmm. but we have been honoring all, all of all them opinion. throughout the video. So um, we're just going to close it out and say we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.